So pretty much uh, last night's episode was absolutely insane. And I say last night as I just watched it. But everything's so fresh to me. I figured I would try to start making these videos right after I watched the episode. And really, um, it's just a really hard episode to recap in the moment. And I might actually not do a recap for this episode. Um, just because I feel like... The only thing up for discussion, really, other than that tribal council this episode, is the fact that Saria has yet to go to tribal council. Uh, so I'm going to put a, a crown on her head. We can call her a princess. We can call her the queen of the island now that Sandra's gone. But I'm going to go ahead and dub her a queen because she's yet to go to tribal council. And uh, she's a badass. So, you know what? This is my YouTube. And I can say whatever I want. So here it is. Um, Zeke is so forgiving and such a strong person. Uh, for being able to stand up and hug Varner and sit through that. I'm so proud and honored to have played with Zeke, to know Zeke, and to be in this crazy survivor family with Zeke. Now, Jeff Varner said what he said. And, you know, we always say the game of Survivor, there's no rules. You say what you want and you do what you want for a million dollars. And this was obviously something that he did thinking that it would switch the vote and get him out. I don't think it was meant to be malicious, but it was and seemed that way. And even more so with the reactions of everyone at that tribal council. There's going to be people that side with Varner uh, saying maybe if Zeke would have made it to the end that he would have used that to win the million dollars It's the first person ever and blah 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 or this shows that Zeke was deceitful And if he can lie in real life, he can lie in the game There's also gonna be people that side with Zeke saying that was ridiculous, but what you all seem to do is Immediately resort to hate. I got a lot of heat online for my season and you know I in one ear out the other it. I laughed with it called you guys trolls, whatever, you know. Um, but this is a situation that is deeper than a showman's. It's it's deeper than voting out your favorite player and you attacking me for it. It's bigger than that. And when someone realizes what they've done and they are truly sorry, we need to forgive. We need to learn from it. And we don't resort to more hate. You know, you guys might think I'm crazy for sticking up for Barner or whatever, but it's not me picking a side here. It's the fact that we have someone as strong and badass as Zeke to forgive, but yet we result to going on Twitter and going on all of these social media platforms and writing so much hate for someone who is so sorry for what they did. Whether you guys think he is or not, the man says he is. So he is to me. And even if he's not to you, it doesn't, it's not your place to call him names and be a bully. We should all almost make bracelets that say WWZD, what would Zeke do in the situation? Because I don't think that he would do what. Yeah, he, he wouldn't do the name calling. He wouldn't do the, the mean tweeting and he wouldn't do threats and he wouldn't do that stuff. He would give Varner a hug and tell him everything's going to be okay and wave him off and wish him the best. And that's what we saw tonight. Uh, I love you guys so much. As you know, I always say that every video and, um, let this be a time where we give so much love out into the world to everyone. Um, because no matter what, I think at the end of the day, that's what the world needs most right now is love. So, love you guys. Figgy has spoken.